Hello everyone, I'm Em. Welcome back to part two of 10 Gig Networking. The first one, uh, things didn't really go to plan and uh, I didn't really know what on earth I was doing. I still don't really know what I'm doing, but we're going to be trying out some different methods kind of suggested by some of you in the comment section down below of, of the previous episode. So uh, a lot of you kind of just told me to connect the 10 gig NAS directly to the PC, the 10 gig PCIe card to 10 gig PCIe card essentially, which uh, bought myself a new cable so we can do that. And then, you know, also connect the NAS to the internet, I guess, through the router via like a one gig connection. So uh, we're going to be trying that out. But before we do that, I've bought myself one of these guys. So uh, we're going to be trying this uh, thing out as well. So this is like a two gig adapter for the PC. So we're going to plug this guy in, run two ethernet cables from here to my router, link aggregate them. So combine those two connections using lag, not LACP. And then hopefully we'll achieve two gigabits per second going from the router to my PC. That's the plan. And then from the server, we're going to install the Synology 10 gig PCIe card right here into the server and, uh, you know, give it a 10 gig connection and then use the 10 gig connection from the Synology server to the 10 gig SFP plus port at the back of my router. And if neither of these methods work, I'm gonna be very upset and I'll probably have to invest in an actual switch. But until then, we're gonna be trying this out. So I think without further ado, let's uh, flip the old server around and uh, try to upgrade it by installing the Synology PCIe card. Right, first things first, I guess we're gonna unscrew this bit on the server. Now, I don't know if this is how you upgrade it. All of these outer screws, we can remove like the outer shell. Luckily there's not too many, so that is nice. I think that's all of them. Will the outer shell kind of like just come off now? Well, I've never really taken apart, you know, a, a freaking NAS before, so I don't really know. Or are there more screws perhaps? Oh no, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay, this is actually going to be a very simple upgrade. So uh, we have the uh, the upgrade port right there. Aha, uh -huh, this little bracket that we shall now remove. Very nice. And then as for the Synology 10 gig uh, PCIe card here, we have to kind of change these bits. So um, you could either install it in like a full size PCIe like expansion slot, I guess, or you could do it in like a mini one for the server. So we have to swap this adapter out. Luckily, it's super simple. It just involves unscrewing two screws. Then all you're gonna do is you're gonna take that out and put the smaller one in. There we go, it's just, boom, it's in, very nice. I'm gonna lower this bit down. That's all installed, all looking good. With this screw, we're gonna screw down the actual card so that you know it doesn't freaking pop out. That would be bad. So that's all secure now. So a very simple upgrade process. Literally took less than a few minutes. So very happy with that. Very easy. Alright. Server upgrade all complete. We have a 10 gig port now. Lovely. Alright, let's put it back where where it came from over here right so i've plugged in power and one ethernet port into the 10 gig right so the server is now booting up and the only thing i'm kind of waiting for i think it's done okay i think it's it's done booting up so that's good all right so that happens to be port number two on the router right there that's this one so now uh it's not showing up you know land one two three or four at all uh, that's because you know it's plugged into a 10 gig pcie card instead so uh but the 10 gig has been detected so that's good to see now uh, right let's hop over to the pc i guess lan 5 that is what we need okay right so the good thing is that everything you know is working we are indeed connected to the nas via this 10 gig pcie port so it's all been good it's all been you know very successful upgrade on the server side of things right let's shut the pc down and uh, install the other pcie card that i've bought uh, this one right here now we're going to install this and uh, have a 2 gig connection from the PC to the server using link aggregation. Darn it. Hey, it's booting up. Right, so for the product that I bought here, I'm pretty sure we will need some drivers, which um, conveniently it did come with drivers, but not in the form you kind of want. It comes in a CD. I can't use this. <laughs> There's no way to put a CD in this PC. So, yeah, uh, we're just gonna have to probably download them online. I mean, it does say Intel software version 16.3 as well as Intel version 22.6. I guess we'll install 
either one of those or both of those and just pray that we have internet. And by the looks of things, we have internet, so that's good. <laughs> right, so it is working, I can confirm. Okay, advanced settings, ethernet port aggregation, so we currently have LACP. Hell no to LACP, what we need is static lag. Let's hit apply. Okay, so it is currently inactive because we only have one ethernet port plugged in, but we shall resolve this issue real quick. Uh, so let's just download the drivers as a uh, pretty sure we might need them. I don't really know, but you know, there's always a possibility that we might actually need some drivers for this card. Uh, so Intel software version 16.3, perhaps? Right, screw the drivers. I'm just going to plug this in to the back of the PC and then into the router. Now, if you're wondering what kind of crazy Ethernet cable I've bought this time, this one is a Cat8 40 gigabits. 2000 megahertz cable. So this will definitely eliminate the possibility of our ethernet cable being at fault uh, for us, you know, not being able to achieve 10 gigabit per second. This can do 40 gigabits per second. So we good. Now the cable management is gonna be beautiful for this. We're just gonna run the whole cable across like, you know, the entire room. It's gonna be brilliant. All right, so port two just started flashing. That's a good sign. We have set up lag link aggregation. Right, so things are Kind of working? <laughs> I feel like we do need the driver, but why Why is this driver so broken? That's that's what triggers me. Unidentified network. Aborting installation because driver already exists. Dual server port not supported. Why? How do I get you to be supported? I like how my internet actually does not work anymore. <laughs> right, so I've been trying to set up this uh, dual one gigabit network card for so long now, I don't think the drivers work with Windows 10, so I don't think it's going to work at all, which is just lovely. So we're gonna plug this guy back in and then hopefully somehow we can, I guess, plug this directly into the server. So like from the PC to the server. I don't even know if that's possible, but maybe, maybe it is. Right, so midway through recording this video, just got a freaking delivery from Netgear here. Video coming soon about this guy, super, super cool speaker. Uh, and they've partnered up with freaking Harman Kardon. So it's probably gonna sound really, really good too. And uh, it also supports Wi-Fi speeds up to three gigabits per second. Very cool device, video coming soon about that guy. All right, so 10 gig card back in the PC. We have set up an ethernet cable, a 40 gigabit Cat8 ethernet cable from this 10 gig card to the 10 gig card in the Synology NAS. The only thing I don't really know how we're gonna do and set up is the whole connection over ethernet to the server and this. Maybe it'll just do it by itself, but I really don't know. Network sharing center, ethernet two, 10 gigabit per second. When we take this file and we paste it onto drive D from the server, we get, we unfortunately see, unfortunately we don't, uh, oh damn it, that's one five. Oh. So it's using bond one and it's not using LAN five. Oh, how does that work? Right, so just unplug the NAS. Okay, it's, it's gone. <laughs> yes, Synology Finder app. This will actually be quite useful. Okay, I have a rough idea of how we're gonna get this to work. I think it's possible. Log in with previous username, text block. Okay, let's just do Z, whatever. Maybe that'll work. Map network drive. <laughs> Is that it? We done? Right, so this one, I believe is on the correct IP address now. There is, there should be a 10 gig link. There should be a 10 gig link. Copy, paste, replace, whatever. <gasps> yes! Yes, we've done it! 150 megabytes per second. Wow, the timing there. Uh, the moment I got it to work, my camera died because it ran out of battery. Let's run the test again, I want to show you. Damn, it actually worked. It actually worked. The next step from this is of course to pop an SSD into that NAS and you know, achieve quite a bit more performance. The damn, very happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Right, so I think the next thing to do is to upgrade the server a little bit more and uh, you know, add in like a cache SSD as I'm pretty sure we can do that. And then you'll be looking at probably around 400, 500 megabytes per second, which is gonna be very nice. So that SSD will be like a cache, you know, so it'll go from the PC to the SSD and then from the SSD to the hard drives. But yeah, we finally did it. We finally set it up and that's literally thanks to the comment section of my previous video. So thank you all so much for helping me out. Uh, I had no idea that this was even the thing or even possible, but it is. So if anyone else is also interested in setting up, you know, a connection from their PC directly to the NAS, you can do so without a switch, without a router, just take an ethernet cable, plug it into the back of your PC and plug it into your server and then you'll be good. Didn't think that was possible, but apparently it is. You don't even need a switch. 
but of course where a switch would come in handy is when you have multiple users trying to access the same server then you know you'd probably want a switch right that that would be a good idea then but uh, yeah thank you all so much for watching thank you all so much for the suggestions and everything that you told me in the previous video i've definitely learned a lot of things so thank you so much and uh, yeah apart from that if you want to go check out all the networking gear i featured today of course including the synology disk station over there or the network cards and stuff uh, be sure to do so links are down below in the description but yeah but apart from that thanks for watching hope to see you in another video soon goodbye